The Frog Prince by Eric Blair. Once upon a time, there was a king with many daughters. The youngest daughter was the most beautiful of all. The princess had a golden ball. It was her favorite toy. She would throw the ball in the air and catch it. She loved this game. A dark forest stood near the palace. At the edge of the forest was a well. The well was so deep, no one could see the bottom. The princess would go near the well and play with her golden ball. One day, the princess was playing near the well. She threw the ball high in the air. She tried to catch it, but she missed. The ball bounced and rolled into the well. The princess started to cry. Suddenly, a voice asked, Why are you crying? The princess looked around. The voice had come from a frog. His fat, ugly head was sticking out of the water. I'm crying because my golden ball has run into the well. I'll never see it again, the princess said. Don't cry, said the frog. I can help you. What will you give me if I get your ball? Anything at all, said the princess, whatever you want. My dresses, my jewels, even my crown of gold. I'll tell you what I want, said the frog. Let me be your friend. Play with me. Eat with me from your plate and drink from your cup. Let me sleep in your bed. Promise me these things and I will get your golden ball for you. The princess agreed. I'll give you anything, she said. But the princess wasn't telling the truth. She was thinking, this frog is silly. How could a frog ever have a human for a friend? The frog dived into the water. He quickly returned with the golden ball in his mouth. He spit the ball on the grass. The princess picked up the ball and ran into the palace. Come back, the frog cried. Take me with you. But the princess was gone. She forgot about the frog and her promise. The next day, the princess was at the dinner table with her father, the king. She ate from her fancy gold plate and she drank from her fancy gold cup. Splish, splash, plop, plop. The frog crawled out of the well and up the palace stairs. He knocked on the door. Princess, let me in, cried the frog. The princess ran to see who was at the door. When she saw the frog, she slammed the door in his face. King saw she was afraid. She came back to the table. Is there some terrible monster at the door, he asked. No, father, said the princess. It's just an ugly frog. The princess told her father about the ball, the frog, and the promise she had made. The king said, when you make a promise, you must keep it. Let him in. But father, he's so slimy, the princess said. How could he be my friend? But the princess did as her father ordered and let the frog into the palace. The frog followed the princess to the table. Pick me up and put me on your chair, the frog said. Again, 
the king made the princes do it. Then the frog wanted to be at the table. Push your plate closer so we can eat together, he said. The princess did what the frog asked, but she didn't like it. The frog ate lots of food. The princess hardly ate anything. When the frog was done eating, he said, Take me to your bedroom. We can lie down and sleep. The princess was afraid to touch the cold, slimy frog. Now he was going to sleep with her in her pretty bed. The princess began to cry. Her father became angry. When someone helps you and you have made a promise, you must keep it, the king said. The princess carefully picked up the frog. She carried him upstairs to her bedroom. The princess put the frog on the floor in the bedroom. She crawled into her bed and turned off the light. When the princess was in bed, the frog hopped over and tugged on the sheets. I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. Lift me up or I'll tell your father, said the frog. The princess became angry. She picked up the frog and she threw him against the wall as hard as she could. There, you ugly frog. Now you'll sleep, she said. When he dropped to the floor, the frog turned into a handsome prince. He told the princess a wicked witch had cast a magic spell that had turned him into a frog. He had lost all hope until the princess came to play by the well. The princess looked into the prince's beautiful eyes. She believed him. The prince let the princess become her dearest friend and her husband. They went to the father's kingdom and they lived happily ever after. Be sure and keep your promises. The Frog Prince